if a man is alone in the woods and a tree falls and nobody hears it except him, did it even make a sound? Well, did it? Um, Time's up, the answer is yes, it did. If he heard it, it did. You see, a man alone in the woods can just be, he can just exist. He's contemplating, they'll say, oh, he's a philosopher, he's Thoreau. His thoughts, they'll say, oh God, what great thoughts. And I'm thinking of white men. Yeah, duh, obviously I'm thinking of white men, but you know, there's way less permission with women to just be. Women's existence is dependent upon others, on an audience. Women only exist relationally. <laughs> what we do is who we are. Because if I'm alone in the woods and I hear a tree fall, it didn't fall, it didn't make a sound because I can't be alone in the woods. Because if I'm there alone, then who am I mothering or nurturing or appeasing or blazing or attracting? And yeah, obviously I know I'm not a woman, I'm more like a girl and I'm <laughs> clearly not a mother, but whatever. Like theoretically speaking, this is my theory, okay? If I'm alone in the woods, then I have no purpose. I'll evaporate, I just don't exist. Yeah. And that is basically the summary of my intro paragraph. Well, I dare say it's vulgar of me, but there's no other word for it. I'm fed up with nice things, with respectability, with propriety. When a woman has nothing to do, money and respectability mean that nothing is ever allowed to happen to her. I don't want to be good. I, I don't want to be bad. I just, I don't want to be bothered with being either good nor bad. I want to be an active verb. I want to be, I want to do. And I'm game to suffer if it costs that. But to stick here and being good and nice and ladylike, I simply won't. You should stay down here with us for a week. I'll show you what I mean. Show you girls withering into ladies, ladies withering into old maids, nursing old women who run errands for old men. Good for nothing at last. You know, you can't imagine the fiendish selfishness of the old and the molden sacrifice of the young. It's more horrible than any other regular write down wickedness. Home, home, parents, family, duty. How I loathe them. I wish I'd love to just see them all blown to bits. The poor escape. The wicked escape. I can't be poor, they're rolling in money, there's no use denying it, but I can be wicked. And I'm quite prepared to be.